In the middle of the Texas desert, on the border with Mexico, sits the tiny town of Presidio. This is the way in. Three, and for some, two, this one, is the way push. out. If you're a kid looking to escape the poverty and isolation of Presidio, oh, there's really no greater vehicle than the Presidio Rocket Club. There's a thermo there. It was launched a few years ago by a firecracker of a science teacher named Sheila Candino. I wanted to teach the kids. You wanted something so bad, you put your heart into it. You grab your parts. Her goal isn't really to make future rocket scientists. It's more just to make futures. In rocketry, you don't have the instructions of how to build it. And that's how life is. It doesn't come with instructions. You have to make it on your own. Her teacher knows all about that. Born dirt poor in the Philippines, Sheila came to the U.S. on a temporary work visa. Came to Presidio because no American teachers would. When we first met her in 2012, she really wanted a green card, but was having a hard time convincing immigration officials that she was a person of, quote, exceptional abilities. They, they are asking for more documents, more support, and I really do not know what else they would want from me. <laughs> You're the best aerospace teacher in America. What more could they want? Thank you. It wasn't me saying that. <laughs> You've got the award. She really was honored as the Aerospace Teacher of the Year. It was no surprise to her students. She'll teach you things and you'll learn it like this, as long as you pay attention, of course. You're blocking the light. She's such a motivating force. Her kids often get up before sunrise to learn and launch. Ejection charge ready. Their equipment is mostly begged, borrowed, and broken. Their budget mostly bake sales, barbecues, and goat auctions. And yet despite all the obstacles, she continued to run one of the country's most highly respected high school rocketry programs. Ready? Then, last fall, she got a letter from immigration saying, you are not authorized to remain in the United States and to depart as soon as possible. I was appalled. You know, that's one of those not very commonsensical decisions that Washington is famous for. Mm -hmm. Texas Congressman Pete Gallego heard about her plight and had his staff do some digging. Come on in, come on. Turns out that letter was actually a clerical error. What she should have got. Yeah was a green card. I can stay. <laughs> and with that, Sheila Candino learned a lesson. The same lesson she's been teaching her kids all these years. Never give up. You can do anything in this world as long as you never give up. That's awesome! <laughs>